Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to God Eater Resurrection. I don't know how long I'm going to play this. Uh, maybe the full way through, maybe only partially. Kind of depends on how much time I have and how much interest I have. Uh, hey, yeah, boy. Let's see, how do I... That's how I zoom out. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's let's go with that hairdo. I actually had this hairdo for a little while in high school. Uh, turns out chlorine plus wearing a hat uh, and like pulling your hair back so it's not in your face. Uh, results in something kind of like this. It looked dumb. Anyways, let's let's make a uh, let's make our our generic anime character. Ooh, I like the bow or the crown. What kind of weird ass stuff is this? Wow, none of these are good. Oh no, I don't really know what I want to work with. I mean, we could go Kiki's Delivery Service right up here. Uh. We could go with the... I mean, I actually like the... What are they called? A Hego? A Higo? A Hego? Uh, let's see. Yeah, the buckle. The buckle in the hair. What does Captain Anime even wear, man? I don't know. Let's go with the buckle. I think that... I, of all of the things, I think that's actually the weirdest. We could do glasses. We could do a crazy eye patch. Oh, earrings. Nah. A oh boy, if you want to go DBZ on this beauty mark, scar, bandages, weird tattoos. Oh, sweet, a mask. I mean, you can see the eye straight through it, but still, what does what doesn't Captain Anime wear? Ah, uh, clearly, Captain Anime should be wearing like all of these things. I actually really like the bandages over the eyes. Captain, Ad yeah, there we go. Hair color. Uh, let's see. Now, I don't know about you. But I think Captain Anime's hair would be black now. No, black black's black is too normy of a thing. How about how about let's go I mean it's halfway tempting to go like pure pink or something. But yeah, let's be uh Captain Chrome. Oh jeez, I just realized we we're going straight up uh near automata here. Alright, sure, why not? Uh, let's switch the bandages off for a little while. Uh, maybe we give him glasses. Change type. Oh, I can change the rim color, too. Hmm. I feel like he should have different hair if we're doing this. Oh, does each hair type have different... Each hair type has, has different, uh... Oh, yeah, each hair type has different ones. So I could do the mask, which is useless, or the bandages. Yeah, let's be extra blind. Why not? Oh, accessory color? Oh, I can change the color of it. Yeah, let's go Let's go with black bandages. Oops. That looks a little bit better. Okay, fra face. Change expression. Now... I don't know about you, but I think Captain Anime is really happy to be here. What's the manliest jaw? Why do they not have manlier jaws for this? Okay, seven, 17 is promising. So far. Yeah, going with 17. Maybe Captain Anime is too happy to be here. Well, that's okay. Eye color. Freaking... I don't know. Uh... Sure, Cerulean, why not? Skin color. Now, I don't know about you, but, um... Wait. Oh, okay. It's the pastiest, whitest dude I can come up with. So something like that, maybe? I mean, he's a... He doesn't go outside much. Mission start! Bond broken! Is that... Oh, Lenka's the protagonist from the anime. Right, I forgot I forgot about that. Did, did they add that after the fact? I think they did. Draw. I'm getting a weird tingly feeling. Oh wow, this the is mic not going to be your everyday run of the mill mission. Holy shit, the mic quality for 19 is atrocious. Bring it in. Ah. Sorry, I I'm just good. Every moment was a battle all its own. Commencing mission. How do you like it? When's the chopper? Ah, I'm going to Did I pass out? I told siphoning it. Thank Am I out? Spread out! I will not let- I cannot. I'll get you. 
Oh, it's because this is a PSP version. They probably didn't scale up the audio quality. Because the... they're all garbage. You don't get to risk yourself that way. What the... Hey, wait. Uh, the hell was that? Charge! <laughs> yeah! Let's end this! All you! I might actually have to go with, uh... I might actually have to go with the Lenka one, just because it's the only one with acceptable mic quality. If you need help, just... Ugh. Shall I end this fight? I think not. Split up. Yeah, I'm going with Lenka just because. <laughs> Alternatively, let's go with 17. It's either Lenka or 17. It sounds like... Yeah! I find your weakness? No, nope, it's gotta be Lenka. Get ready for this. Yeah, because Lenka's the only one that doesn't make it kind of cra crackle. Okay, so here's the question. Do we have... Do we have Captain Blindfold here, or do we, uh, do we toss the stupid hat on him and make him look like a dumb frog for this entire game? Uh, you know what? I think we show up in cutscenes. Let's go with this. Wrong. And to the victor go the spoils. Old man Sakaki's gonna have a fit when he sees this. <laughs> I'd like to see some reinforcements out here. If we're all done here, let's call for Expo. I'm starved. Speaking of, what are they serving today? Admittedly, I wasn't paying a lot of attention at the last supply meeting. Wait, just remembered. Some new engineered corn or something. Oh, you mean that same overgrown corn on the cob fiasco? It's so hard to chew. Yeah, we're having a bit of a lean year. We should be glad we're getting fed at all. Hey, Soma, how about a trade, huh? You like corn? Don't think so. Come on, if we're not back soon, we'll get a lot of nothing. Director, I believe Norn has found a match. A potential new type God Eater, sir. Very good. Send the data to my personal terminal. Summon them. There's potential, but they must first clear the test. I assure you, there is nothing at all to fear. 
When you're ready, place your wrist within the device at the center of the room. Congratulations are in order. You are the very first of our new type God Eaters. Brilliant! You have passed the test, and well, now that we're certain you're a God Ark match, we must ensure your welfare with a short physical. Please, wait in the lobby just beyond the door. The doctor will see to you shortly. And do let someone know if you feel unwell. I have great hopes. Too? That makes at least two of us. How old are you anyway? Well, I've still got a nanosecond of experience on you. Pleasure to meet you. Stand. Huh? Stand and to attention. Now. Excellent. I've got a busy day planned, so we'll keep this quick. My name is Subaki Amamiya. Senior operator here at the Far East, and I'll be your advisor. Your schedule is as follows a full medical workup followed by a gamut of physical conditioning. You'll be taught basic combat strategies and tactics, and given a brief overview of God Arcs and armament. Until this moment, God Eaters have put their lives on the line to defend you. Now it's your turn to repay them. If you plan on staying alive, every order will be answered and enacted immediately. Understood? Understood. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Better. Now, as to your exams, let's begin with you, shall we? Orders are to report to Dr. Paylor Sakaki's office at 1500 hours. Until then, you're free to tour the facility as you wish. Welcome to Fenrir's Far East Branch, which we affectionately call the Den. This is your home now. These teammates, your family. Godspeed. All right, so first and foremost, let's fix let's fix some of this audio issue because, ho oh, damn. Okay, so voice max. Ah, I can turn sound effects down to smallest. That's helpful. I'm gonna turn environment down. Okay, that'll help a little bit because the voice volume in this game is ridiculously low. Like I already set it to higher than others, and it's like ridiculously low. So I'm gonna fiddle with this for a second. Okay, that might be kind of loud. Yeah, the music in this game might just be kind of loud, period. Okay, that'll help. Yeah, is it me or is this game just really quiet? It's it's because I'm trying to fix the freaking audio and it wasn't working so great. Avatar card. No. Organize inventory? No. How the hell do I change my equipment? Okay, so we've got... Shopkeeper... Let's see, terminal top. Ah, gotcha. Buy equipment, melee weapon. Looks like most of them are too expensive for me. It's, uh, it, no, it's, it's this thing? Terminal. Okay. Change and upgrade equipment. Loadout. Gotcha. I'm skipping past the UI. If this is a problem, I'll switch it later. Okay. 
Now, if I remember right, I had this hairdo, and accessory was... Was it flare? Bandages, too. And the accessory, right, was this stupid buckle, but I... Yes, there's the buckle. It is back. Awesome. I don't know why I had a buckle, but that's okay. Why game have worst fan service? This game, Resina Blade Chronicles 2. Uh, uh, that remains to be see seen. I don't know if we have Blushy Crushy yet. We might. <laughs> we might. Alright, so we do we want Scythe, Lance, Hammer, or Claymore? I like the idea of the Claymore so far. Let, let's go with this. Yeah, until we get Blushy Crushy, we're probably okay. I also have Mail. I should probably check that here. Database. Okay, so the mail just tells me about things. Nice to meet you. Do you know when my medical checkup is? Okay. So, not super helpful. So, I was supposed to go somewhere. I wasn't paying attention. Scythe, be a Grim Reaper. I guess, I mean, if I want to be Captain Anime, I should probably do Scythe anyway. Okay. So, I gotta go back up to the... Ah! Hints. Use the elevator. Oh, the elevator's on the right. Well, let's do loadout. Oh, hope recruit. Oh, I can change change the sets. Okay, fine. We'll go we'll go scythe if we're gonna be anime. There we go. Okay, so laboratory? Presumably. Nope, that's the infirmary. There we go. Didn't expect that. You were here precisely 726 seconds before I anticipated. Interesting. I am Paler Sakaki. <laughs> Dr. Paler Sakaki, the chief of Aragami Tech and R&D. I'm certain we'll be seeing quite a lot of each other over the coming days. Welcome aboard, new type. As you can see, I'm still a touch busy at the moment. Things to do, screens to watch, uh... Johannes, why don't you do your speech thing, and then I'll go. Sure. Though, Doctor, I think it is high time you learn to prioritize between work and personal research. Thank you for taking part in the aptitude test. I know it is not pleasant. My name is Johannes von Schicksal. I'm the director of the Far East Branch, reporting directly to Fenrir. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance. I know you shall do great things in your time here. Don't let the speechifying fool you. He's an ex-tech guy. No doubt the new type medical exam is calling to him. A tech guy? Do keep in mind that I hung up my lab coat because we have you now, Doctor. Once a scientist, always a scientist, Johannes. Perhaps. In any case, if I may return to my speechifying. The Fenrir Corporation has many goals, of which you are now a critical part. Your direct duties, while crucial, are rather simple. You God Eaters hunt down and destroy Aragami and gather their materials. These materials are then converted into resources. They help maintain this base and supply the upcoming Aegis project. These numbers? There's no way they can be right. The Aegis project will defend humanity in our utopia. A fortress at sea, impregnable to Aragami assault, located near the deepest part of the Sea of Japan. Of course, of course! Once the final phase of the project is complete, humanity will be able to live in peace again, free from these monsters. <laughs> Amazing! The new types are a miracle! Taylor, I am trying to teach something! Oh, right! <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just these readings. They're beyond our wildest hopes. Then it seems the future of humanity is in good hands. You will do us proud. And on that note, I shall place you in the doctor's hands and take my leave. Paler, be sure to send the results. I believe we're ready to begin. Go ahead and lie down on the bed just there. As the exam begins, you will feel a bit drowsy. I assure you there's nothing to worry about. When you awaken, you'll be in your quarters. It's a uh, cat nap, so to speak. Shouldn't be more than a few hours. 10,800 seconds at most. Sleep well. Well, the can be that the main character has loud music playing in his head whenever someone's talking to him. <laughs> he just has headphones in. He can't see or hear anyone. Oh, man, that... <laughs> 
<laughs> that actually, well, kind of, that would be amusing. Okay. So we're at a bit of a weird impasse here. Oh, this is my apartment. I've got like a nice picture out here. So the music in this game is unreasonably loud. Like actually problematically so. I've turned it to the bare minimum I possibly can. Like I, I tried to separate it out as, as well as possible. Should I just turn it off? Like, I don't want to turn it off, but what the hell do I do? I mean, I guess read the subtitles. Good luck, everybody. All right. Why does the rookie section look exactly like the infirmary? Holy shit, it's the same place. Well, I'd ask who that person is, but I don't think I care. Okay, mission so soon. Uh, let's see. File for missions with the cute operator girl, then go through the den gate. Okay, uh, I don't know if I can actually do multiplayer yet. Turn the music off, play my own music. It seems weird. I could. Okay, so get a mission from them. Yeah, I'm kind of skipping past this stuff because, like, it's super basic and I've actually already been through this before. I played this on PSP for just a little bit. Okay. So what do we want to... Do hint story missions advance the plot and there are free missions. You can take up to eight consumable items. Stun grenade onto mission. Okay. During multiplayer, the stun grenade carrying limit per player fluctuates depending on the number of players. Okay, figured that. So we have extra missions, which I'm sure would wreck my shit if I went there. Oh yeah, look at those things. They look they look ridiculously strong. Let's see. There was an option for new multiplayer. Yes. Uh, I might actually be able to skip the tutorial. Oh, that'd be really nice. Because, yeah, I've already kind of played these games before. Obviously, there's a couple of mechanics that I don't know about, but uh, I can do the tutorials off camera. Okay. Would you like to save your current data and go back? Okay. I'm going to try and uh, set up a multiplayer so the people that are waiting for me can join me. I'm just going to be playing with fans on this one. So let's uh, continue online. Have an anime, and hopefully we can just kind of zip through stuff, and we won't have to wait too long. Let's be Team Q. Back to player count four. Password is going to be. Password's going to be nope. Uh, let's see, and create team. Hopefully people can just join me. I think I've got. Uh, oh, hey, I can just pull it up. Awesome. There's one, and did pyro pyro is there and it doesn't look like anybody else is here yeah if you guys have this game and you want to join me and you're not too far in the game absolutely uh just hop in uh and help me out just make sure you if you are further in the story than me you use your garbage equipment as opposed to your your good stuff because i don't want to just like be carried through the entire game luckily it's also on sale right now let's see so I'm just going to stop there. There's a story limit option. Yeah, but that would just uh, keep you guys from joining as opposed to uh, actually limiting you down to the equipment that I want. Wait, there's no Monster Hunter scaling? That means, like, just bringing friends along makes the game just so much easier? What? Okay. Well, whatever. I mean, I'm kind of... I'm more or less just playing this game while, while we... Uh... God damn it. It's doing the freaking owl thing. Uh, let's see, standard missions, difficulty one. Devil's Tail, sure. And... Oh, wait. BGM and Operator. Ah, this should be fine for the time being. Okay, go to the Den Gate, you can view the info. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, monsters are meant to have three NPCs. Oh, that makes sense. I see, so normally you're joined by three NPC, like, uh, assistants. But in this case, friends. Okay, that... That actually that that makes that makes perfect sense. Should probably look into getting better equipment. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, I'm mostly playing this game just so I can uh, kind of fill the gaps while I wait for Monster Hunter World to come out next month. Oh, Lindo, the director said that if I saw you, I should tell you he wishes to meet with you. Awesome. Sounds like you didn't see me then. Oh ho! Hey there, Rook. The name's Lindo Amamia. According to various documents, I am your superior officer. 
But I never paid much attention to that crap, and neither should you. Endgame, I want you to be someone who I know has my back, and I'll have yours. Oh, who's this? A new recruit? Yup, and you're totally ruining my big scary speech about our brutal coda, so shoot! Of course, sir. You're the boss, sir. Now I lost my place, so we're cool, yeah? I'm sending you out into battle, and I know that's scary, but look, I'm gonna be right here with you, got it? Oh, look at the time. It's half past mission. Let's go! Man, this place has seen better days for sure. All right, Rook. We're gonna get some hands-on experience today. You got three big rules. Don't die. If you're in danger, frickin' run. And last, hide. Well, not hide. Use cover. Stealth wins fights. Wait, is that four big rules, then? I'm gonna bottom line it for you. Survive. Actually, yeah, let's say one big rule. Survive. All right, kid. Let's get this show on the road. And that was the point when I realized I probably don't know the buttons for this. Well, I'm probably just going to stand around swinging for a little bit. I've always wanted to play through the God Eater games. And since God Eater 3 is coming out sometime in 2018 or 2019, I was kind of hoping that I could actually start uh, plowing through these games and get ahead. Because if I can actually play God hey Eater... There. This is our first field op together. I'm excited to work with you. Now let's get out there. We're fighting little ogre tails today. Should be a pretty basic hunt. <clears throat> Nothing crazy or unexpected. Crossed. I know it's your first time in the field. Just remember to stay calm. Watch their movements and strike when you see an opening. Yeah, so you shouldn't stand right in front of a giant monster. You'll get crushed. Okay, I don't. I assume you can friendly fire. I might have to. See, how do I lock on? That's how I lock on. I might actually have to just. I don't just hand out compliments. So when I say you move well out there for a recruit, I mean. Okay, the flesh biting thing is to eat monsters. Unfortunately, I don't remember how to flesh. Okay, is it? Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, I'll figure this out. Yeah, sorry. I was doing the uh, the circular thing for a moment there. I, I won't do that again. I just realized the camera in this game is atrocious. You mind if you chat in game? Yeah, go for it. Uh, as long as it's not voice chat. No voice chat. But yes, I I will not I will not do the circular thing again. It's bad. <laughs> okay, so I can upgrade different characters, which is none of you guys. Materials, gotcha. I'll probably look up the rest of these later. Uh, let's see. So this is just the crap we got. Gotcha. But yeah, I just... When I get into games, I like immediately hone in on like weird design issues or problems. Ah, there you are. We've got a lot of ground to cover. So what do you say we just jump right in? Now, what do you think an origami is? Lots of words come to mind. The apex predator, the devourer of mankind, God's given flesh. Well, those are all right, in a way. These phrases, while dramatic, aren't misconceptions. Rather, you could say they simply evolve from wonderment. The speaker clearly has their eyes fixed on the phenomena before them. Today, we are striving for a deeper answer. Tell me, have you ever wondered from whence the origami come? History books tell us that they just appeared, as though from the air itself. Since then, their numbers have grown. Strange, no? As though they are ripping through the very core of evolutionary process. <sighs> hey, hey, does this lecture have an intermission? Or a point? Our job's to kill them. What does it matter where they come from? Oh, it matters. Oh! Aragami have no heart. Neither do they have a brain or a digestive system or spinal fluids. Frail humans that we are, a powerful strike to the chest would cripple or kill us. But no, that won't bring down an origami. You see, these beasts are clusters of oracle cells, each individually a single-cell organism of its own, ever devouring the others. Mad? Ha! Perhaps. But each
each origami is a colony of hundreds, nay thousands of individual life forms, each striving to survive. And this dangerous, deadly, elegant fusion of cells cannot be destroyed by conventional weapons. They are impervious to all assault. So, how then are we meant to survive? How can we defeat such a powerful predator? Um, well, they die when we hit them a lot with the God Ark, or shoot them a lot with the God Ark, so... Precisely! A God Ark! A biological weapon infused with the same oracle cells that inhabit an Aragami's body. That's the key! They are the only weapons capable of cutting through their ever-fusing oracle cells. But just cutting them down will do no good. The rogue cell colonies will grow and heal, or worse, form new monsters to be defeated. No, there is only one way to ensure victory. Tearing out the core. The cells that serve as a control center. But of course, such a task is challenging to say the least. Even with our god arcs, we have no way to deliver such a devastating blow. At some point, people recognized in these monsters, in their immortality, the spirits of the many gods once worshipped here. They deem these creatures aragami, and we fight them still. I think that's as good a place as any to hold for today. As homework, please refer to the Norn database for more on the history of origami. Dismissed! The music in this game is weird. But yeah, I should probably mention, if you are planning on getting this game, you get it through, uh, oh, I've got some mail. Uh, you get it through buying God Eater Rage Burst, or God Eater 2. Uh, and this just comes for free as part of it. Alright, so we have mail from random people who are like, Do you remember me? I'm sorry if you don't remember me. Bye. Bye. Yep. His music is bizarre. And like, some of it is okay. I, I almost feel like what I might do uh, between sessions, so uh, this will probably happen later. I think I'm actually going to go on YouTube, make a like a, an unlisted playlist for myself out of the soundtrack and just pick the songs that are tolerable to listen to and then play them really low because I think that would actually be the easiest and best way to do this uh it just will take some time to do okay fallen angel egg one floating zygote sure go fight it confirm any free spaces are filled with uh random people I think uh somebody wants to exchange avatar cards We've become friends now, I guess. Oh, I got restore pills for being more friends. Cool. And I can have the avatar of Salamander join us. Also cool. Anyway, ready? It'll take some fine-tuning to get this series working. Proto, why do you look why do you look dumb? <laughs> 